Are you a gamer gator? Tired of feminists meddling in the affairs of gamers? Do you yearn for the good old days when video games were immune to the keen eye of critical social analysis? Or at least when people were too busy arguing over violence in games to notice their lack of diversity and dismal depiction of women? Then look no further because this makeup tutorial is just for you. Please note that if you're a woman using this makeup tutorial, keep your movements to a minimum, as women are extremely difficult to animate. Before you begin, start off with a squeaky clean face to show that you have nothing to hide. Then, quickly realize that like any industry out there, the gaming industry is not perfect. It's riddled with imperfections that need to be addressed and remedied, like the lack of compelling diverse characters and white male centricism. Instead of properly addressing and acknowledging these problems, sweep them under a thick, rugged foundation and vehemently deny their existence. Look at that blank slate. Nothing to miss here. Silence all those developers and consumers criticizing the rampant inequality by using a concealer based in unwarranted hate mail and death threats. Cover up your dark circles with a liquid concealer. I like to use the underrepresentation eye roller. Stifle the oiliness of feminist injustice with powderized examples of reverse sexism and male objectification in video games. Notice how the powder immediately disappears upon contact. <laughs> Almost like it has no substance. <laughs> no, don't try to cake it on. You've embarrassed yourself enough already. Use your favorite highlighter contour stick to enhance the structure of your cheekbones, nose, and jawline, and make sure to blend thoroughly. Further the definition with some bronzer along your cheekbones, jawline, and neck. Fun fact! You've officially put more time into chiseling your cheekbones than most developers put into creating compelling female characters. Simply amazing! Using a fluffy brush, lightly dust a rosy pink color along the apples of your cheeks to give yourself an innocuous appearance. Convince people that you've done nothing wrong throughout this entire controversy, despite numerous substantiated reports and allegations to the contrary. For my look, I used Nixon. Moving on to the eyes. First, fill in your brows with a heaping amount of egocentricism. Next, prime your lids with game development teams, character casts, and online multiplayer servers comprised of only men. I'm using the shade white male protagonist. Using a fluffy brush and a shimmering white eyeshadow, cover your lid in a false sense of inclusivity. Since women now constitute nearly 50% of the consumer market, use a neon eyeshadow in a color of your choice to represent all the female gamers. Now, female gamer statistics have risen quite a bit in recent years, so let's create a visual representation of that increase by adding in a pop of color along the lower lid of your eye. If you don't have a bright colored eyeliner, wet your brush and coat it with some bright eyeshadow. Now, carefully and cleanly line the bottom lid of your eye and sweep the colors up towards the outer tip of your brow. What a beautiful, bright eye. Look at how much personality and joy the gaming community could get from including people of any gender. You know, we could just stop the tutorial right here Realize that women are an integral part of the success and evolution of the gaming industry, despite being constantly misrepresented in all aspects therein, apologetically change our ways to become more accepting, and call it a day. Except, as gamer gators, we have a duty to keep our heads so far up our own asses that we can chew our food again on the way down. So let's extinguish all these good vibes with a heaping dose of piss baby eyeshadow. Now. With some charcoal eyeliner, draw a thick cat eye out of the corner of your lid. Make sure it both spans the entirety of your upper lid and reaches higher than the women's line, effectively shutting them out of the industry, all the while making sure that it's as thick as your skull. Then, curl your lashes and apply several coats of mascara to seal the deal. And as a final measure of defense, line the waterline of your eyes so feminists can't drink your tears. Tears only make them stronger. Lastly, finish off the look with a rose-colored lipstick. I'm using, actually, it's about ethics in video game journalism. All finished! Now you've got a look that you can wear proudly to represent Gamergate. A glorified gaggle of 
pissy gamers who oppose the rational inclusion and representation of other genders in quote-unquote their community and who support the irrational threat of bodily harm to any and all who criticize them. I would expect nothing less from a movement whose name is derived from one of the United States' most infamous and widely frowned upon political scandals, which, oddly enough, also highlighted an extended gross abuse of power and the needless harassment of activists who were only trying to bring attention to the corruption of those in majority rule. <laughs> Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Now before you go, remember, it's dangerous to go alone. So please, take this and good luck.